Hello from Shreveport. We are at Sam's Town Casino and this is where we're gonna have lunch. So we need to wear our mask. But in the casino there's no cameras. So we'll see you at the restaurant. Hello, we are at we are in Shreveport still, eating at RJ's restaurant. We came here specifically because of two reasons. One, there was an ad in the KOA brochure that says eat here. And the other reason is RJ is a lifelong friend of Walter's family. So here we are at RJ's. Not necessarily the RJ who owns this restaurant, but a guy named RJ. So we're eating at a restaurant with the same name. Yes. Two pork chops, black eyed peas, and fried okra. And Walter is having two eggs, hash browns, and biscuits. Do I get biscuits? Here come the rest of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. These are called tea biscuits. And Walter's having chicken fried I'm steak. Okay, follow up from the food we just ate here at RJ's. Delicious. It's a divey place. However, the food is excellent and so is the service. We are here at the KOA in Shreveport, Louisiana. They are very accommodating here because we were driving through. Okay, this is two days, two parks later after Hurricane Laura. We were at Lofkin for one evening and now we spent four nights here and they were able to change our reservation from two, two nights to four nights. Very nice, accommodating employees here, wonderful. Uh, their general store has everything you need. They even have an RV parts store inside. And you can also fill up your propane while you are here. They have propane fill stations and you just leave your propane tank in front of your site. They come get it and then refill it and return it to you same day. Uh, as long as it's before 12. Okay, so the park has a pool, laundry area, didn't really check it out. When you do book a site here, you have to specifically specify that you want a sewer site that does not have a block on it and let me show you what I mean by block okay we are in site 12 50 amps cable water pressure is good however we have an airstream so our sewer line or where the sewer comes out is really low and yet we have a block here where the sewer goes to and it's actually almost the same level as our outtake so when you do get a site here specify that you want a site where the sewer is level to the ground so you can properly so the outflow will will be proper see look at this RV site there their sewer hose goes above that concrete slab where their outtake is. Now this site over here does have their sewer site level to the ground. I don't know why they have these blocks here but it's in front of all the utilities. I guess it's so people don't run their utilities over but it doesn't make for a convenient utility area. They're actually in the way. I, I don't like them. One maybe, but two, three, we have three on ours, which is actually not a good idea. I, I, I don't like them. You could actually, we could actually damage the airstream. I was concerned about that because of the way they have these blocks. Overall, would we stay here again? It would be yes, we would. However, I would ask for a site that was where the sewer is leveled to the ground. And yeah, 
essentially just leveled to the ground. I don't know if, what they can do about these blocks that they have in front of all their utilities. Maybe just one in front of their utilities to block it so that it doesn't get run over by rigs. It's fine, but too many blocks. I don't know. They, they must have had a going out of sale block or they were giving these blocks away for free. And they said, oh yeah, we'll use them. Not practical. They're, they do a good job cleaning. There were a couple of trash, a cigarette butt here and there, but that's got nothing really to do with the park. That's more just the people who... I, I don't get it. Why, why, are, why do you litter? Do you do this at home? Do you just like throw trash on the ground where you live? And if you do, shame on you. You live like a pig. Oh, the other thing also is that the trash, you leave it out, they pick, come pick it up at 9 and 12 o'clock. After 12 noon, you have to bring your trash to the trash bin to the left of the of where you check in. They have two big trash bins. So we're still in Louisiana. Today we're doing the trail, the boom or bus bypass highway. It's 137 miles. We're not gonna do 137. We're probably gonna do about 20. Find a place to eat lunch, then go back to Wanda. Right, we're, and this is a driving tour, which makes it really nice. It's not a, it's not a hiking, it's a driving. driving. Okay. And you wonder what happens when they have a contested election for mayor. Mm -hmm. Not really sure what town we're in. We had lunch at Main Street restaurant food was mediocre right we're getting back on the boom and bus byway oh the other thing about this highway is that if you download the boom or bus highway app which is available in the Apple Store and I think Android also has it you plug in your phone to the car and it narrates your entire drive well so you get to certain spots in the drive and there's a narrator that comes along and tells you about that location it's really nice I don't know why other byways hasn't thought of this maybe it's brand new who knows but we're having a wonderful time just driving down this country road all of a sudden the app starts talking about where you're at the location the field to your right, the field to your left. Really informative. Right, our last night here in Shreveport, Louisiana. And we are back again at RJ's restaurant. They are open 24 hours a day. This is how good the food is. The ambiance inside, terrible. Food, service, excellent. So, we really like this restaurant. Tonight I'm gonna have the the prime rib? No. I think it's the prime rib. I'm not really sure. I'll look at the menu. Anyway, food's really good. Highly recommend. The Little Rock KOA, just out north of Little Rock, Arkansas. The site was leveled left and right. It's not too leveled up and down, which is fine. We were only here for one night. This place was very nice. Customer service was wonderful. Um, they've got pool, they've got laundry and all the facilities. Again, we were here one night. The only complaint that I do have about this park, <laughs> right over those bushes, is the highway. And around 6 in the morning, you can hear all the big rigs. You can hear them right now. That's, that's the freeway now. So, nice park, nice and green, wonderful customer service, great for one night. Would we stay here again for one night? Yes, we will. All right, this is where we're having dinner tonight. We are somewhere in Missouri. I have no clue where we're at. I just know we're in Missouri. Really interesting note. So when you're in the middle of Missouri, in a hibachi place, they do not serve chopsticks. 
You have to ask for it. We had the New York strip with fried rice. Fried rice is excellent. New York strip is good. This is ginger sauce and it's mediocre. We are at Sykeston, Missouri at the Hinton RV Park. Now, we would definitely stay in this park without hesitation again. It's leveled pretty much, left and right and front and back. And 50 amp hookup, 30 and 20, or 120, whatever they call it. Sewer, water pressure is good. Now, what I like about this RV park also is that they have two sewer connections. There's one over there where the main part is. And there is actually one here in the back area with the longer big rigs, RVs, that have two sewer connections. And there is actually enough space here for two vehicles. So Aries is in the front, and it's actually large enough for another vehicle. Look at all this space, it's wonderful. Okay, we're gonna walk over to the laundry room because today is actually one of my rest days, and I'm doing laundry. Oh, and there is no freeway noise. We are maybe half a mile from the freeway. However, there are several businesses that block the freeway noise, which is right over there. You can see the freeway from here. But we don't hear it. Wonderful. So we had no noise at all last night. Oh, they have a propane bottle filler. Maybe we'll fill the propane tonight. Again, Hinton RV Park. Really good. Stay here again without hesitation. There you got two washers, two dryers. The washer is about a 250, dryer is about 175. Alright, we'll see you in the next park. And I think the next park is in Springfield, Illinois. So we're making our way slowly up to Ohio. My final remarks as we leave Hinton RV Park, the internet connection here is fabulous. It, they have about 10, 11 internet towers. So we had no problems connecting and staying on the internet. Wonderful, the speed was great. Right, off to Springfield, Illinois. Right. Tonight we're eating at Lambert's for the last 100 miles they have had four billboards so they got us here because of their billboard advertising and it looks like they have an extensive menu it's all throughout their building here so we're looking forward to it uh yelp they've got four stars so four out of four pretty good right let's see what we're gonna have for dinner they came around with fried okra they throw the biscuits midair and then someone comes around with, what is it called? Apple, Apple butter. Okay, pork chops, beets, collard greens. Walter's having meatloaf, mashed potatoes, corn, salad. And there's people that come around and drop off okra, fried beans, black eyed peas, God knows what else. More bread. Oh yeah, more, they throw, they throw the bread. Up in the air, up in the air. It just goes up in the air. <laughs> Very fun restaurant. And yes, we would come back. What is that? Macaroni and tomatoes. Oh, no thank you. Macaroni and tomatoes. See, they just come around. <laughs> See, they're, 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 oh! Here's the guy throwing, throwing rolls. 
and their average meal is fifteen dollars, including all the types that they're giving away for free. Here's the guy throwing. Hey, look at that! He just throws rolls. What are these? Fried potatoes. Fried potatoes. Just like two or three, little tiny okay. now, because like I want to try everything. I do want to try some. And that, that, yeah, that's good. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank perfect. You so We're coming back to this little town just so we can have dinner here again. Also, this little town, what's this place called again? Sykes, Sykes Town, Sykesville, Sykes, Sykes something. Oh, uh, anyway, it has a lot of cute little restaurants. There's down their main street and what is this called? Milford? Mumford? I, we don't know what the street is called. There's a lot of good little restaurants that I want to try. So we may spend three or four nights here the next time. Just to eat. Just just to eat. <laughs> it's nice. The weather's getting cooler. Yay. Thanks for watching. Bye.